What's going on, everybody? It's your homeboy K Blind Network here. I'm chilling out, Max, now doing my thing. All right, y'all. Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about Hinata and Sakura being confirmed to be coming in Naruto Storm 4. And they're coming from the last movie. Yes, the last movie, Naruto. I mean, Naruto. Sakura and Hinata are coming. Now, Hinata look badass with them big ass days in the last movie. And Sakura, of course, still had that big forehead with that diamond on it. But hey, Guys, I can't wait to check it out. Put in the comments, what do you think about this as well? Now, the creator basically had a big interview, and he let out a whole lot of leaked stuff, and they're still letting out leaked stuff up until the release of this game. It's going to be on Xbox One and PS4, and Steam, of course, you know, PC. Now, it's going to come out this year. I can't wait to check it out. You can guarantee I'm going to be doing gaming movies, fights, everything with that game. Mass promotion for Naruto right here. I know you guys love it, so I'm going to bring it to you. Now, because Sakura mastered the marks of healing, I want to really check that out because in the fourth grade Ninja War, she basically gained the full ability to use it. Now, as Master, of course, you know the Master is something that takes years of training and that's what she actually had in Naruto the last. Now, we saw some of their abilities in the movie, but let's be real. It could have done more justice with Sakura and Hinata. Now, to be honest, Hinata really didn't show a lot of her abilities in the movie. You know, she showed a few fights and that was really it. You know, she got kidnapped. I really want to see what Hinata can do, seriously, because let's be real here. She was actually able to take on pain longer than, well, hardly everybody else in the village. So I really want to check that out, guys. Put in the comments what you think about this. Now, when Naruto Storm Forum actually comes out, they already said that they're going to incorporate new mechanical wall running and such. So it's going to change the entire way we fight in Naruto. And I can't wait to check that out as well. As well as they're going to be bringing in epic boss battles. Bosses will actually throw punches at you. You can dodge them and you can interact with bosses like never before. You can interact with bosses almost as much as you can interact with the normal character fightings as you are actually watching right now. This is actually Naruto Revolution. Yes, Naruto Revolution is awesome. I actually love it. Now, I've been a Naruto friend for years, and I gotta say, I cannot wait to check out Naruto Storm 4. I've been following the games for years now, and it has not disappointed me yet. I actually got into Naruto and Naruto Storm 3. That's what I really got into Naruto, to be honest with you. Naruto Storm 2 was awesome, I'm not gonna lie, but hey, Naruto Storm 3 was where it was at. Also, they did say that they're going to um, cut out the whole separation of powers, you know, where it was awakening, drive, ultimate. They're cutting that out. Like, the creator said that he got blasted by everybody, so they're not even going to do that this round. Now it's going to be like Naruto Storm 3, where all the powers are going to be combined. And that's going to be really sweet. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. Me and Homeboy Network here. Peace out. Talk to you. Laters.